Hey, I'm Andy Barons of Yahoo Sports, and we are back for another installment of your fantasy football failures, your trials, your tribulations. This is Fantasy Football Bad Beats. Our worst beatdown from week four has to go to Mark, who lost by triple digits, lost by 100 points. Thanks to going up against Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. Ugh. Uh, most weeks, our bad beat is going to be somebody who lost by a fraction of a point, barely got edged out on Monday night. But not you, man. A um, hundred point loss is not something I, I'm sure I've ever experienced in fantasy. Uh, that is just a monster week from Ryan and Julio, though. This, this is what happens when Julio Jones delivers one of the very few 300 yard games by a receiver in NFL history. Um, the good news here, Mark, is that your team isn't that bad. Um, you've just got a ding Gronk right now, right? You've got David Johnson. You've got some things that give me hope as a fantasy owner. Um, it's not all over for you. Under some circumstances, I would be recommending, you know what, that you just fold the tents and go sign up for basketball, go sign up for hockey, maybe try a different game. I think there's still hope for your team, Mark. Our dishonorable mention this week goes to Nick, who lost by 0.34 points. He had Odell Beckham going on Monday night and got nothing. In fact, he had Brandon Cooks and Odell Beckham going. He had less than 10 fantasy points from that combo. Cooks now goes into a bye. Um, that's rough. Listen, you ca- I- I'm seeing the tweets. I'm seeing the questions. You can't sell these guys now. Even if you're disgusted by Odell so far, even if you're disgusted by Brandon Cooks, you cannot put them on the trade block now. The whole idea is to sell high and to buy low. Be patient with these guys. They remain great receivers tied to great offenses. Make sure to reach out to us next week with your bad beats for week five. For Yahoo Sports, I'm Andy Behrens.